When I reflect on the last 15 years of my career, I realize that my teaching has gone through a radical transformation, which is best described as what Chris Dede calls a seismic shift in epistemology. The traditional approach of transmitting information to students I once employed has made way to social constructivist methods, where knowledge is built through activity and interaction. My pedagogical change did not occur overnight, but was the result of many years of constructing my own knowledge through training, practice, networking, and researching. The Boise State EdTech program has facilitated my professional growth during this process. My metamorphosis is depicted well with the word clouds I created during EdTech 554 to contrast learning in the 20th and 21st centuries. As a 20th century educator, I delivered information to my students through lectures, textbooks, worksheets, and so on, and they practiced and memorized. As a 21st century educator, I create a learning environment where students use digital tools to interact and collaborate, collectively building and distributing knowledge throughout the learning community. Don Tapscott lists eight important shifts that need to happen to bring schools into the 21st century and move them from what he calls broadcast to interactive learning, from linear to hypermedia, from instruction to construction and discovery, from teacher-centered to learner-centered, from absorbing material to learning how to navigate and learn, from one-size-fits-all to customized learning, from learning as torture to learning as fun, from teacher as transmitter to teacher as facilitator. When I design instruction, I focus on the features at the right end of the continuum, which promote interactive learning. One example of this was the digital learning experience I created for fifth graders to learn about the events, issues, and people of the Civil War. The students took on personas of men from all walks of life that became soldiers for the Union and Confederate armies. Acting as their soldiers, students participated in a simulation where they were faced with having to overcome the problems and fates that were common of the time. They journaled about their experiences, which they later produced in digital format. The learning that took place as a result of this experience was far more interesting and memorable to individuals because I allowed students to interact and construct their own knowledge.